Hello, I'm Barbara Warnock and I'd like to introduce you to the Wiener Holocaust Library's new exhibition, Jewish Resistance to the Holocaust. We tell the story of the uprisings that took place in Treblinka, in Sobibor and in Auschwitz camps and also some of the other resistance that occurred in terms of the intelligence gathering that Jews in Auschwitz engaged in, some of the personal documents that some people there kept of their experience and actually buried in order to try and preserve them for future generations. We started the exhibition looking at uh, Jewish partisans in Soviet territories and we wanted to focus upon that in the exhibition because it is a topic that isn't always that much known about in Britain. The Warsaw Ghetto Uprising was a very significant and sustained uprising. We focused on the story of Tosia Altman who was a courier for resistance groups, which meant that she travelled on false papers from ghetto to ghetto, passing information, intelligence, training people, sometimes helping to gather weapons. We have a very strong collection of material from Belgium. We have a number of testimonies that look at urban guerrilla fighters and tell the stories of the kind of um, armed networks engaged in attacks and sabotage and also rescue missions. So in this exhibition, we've really tried to show people how diverse Jewish resistance to the Holocaust was. We've looked at some armed uprisings, but also told stories of how in ghettos, social and cultural and educational services were set up. We've also focused on some of the individuals who in, in the face of Nazi destruction maintained their own personal records, diaries and so on, in order to try and keep a sense of their humanity. Philip Manis was a prolific journal keeper and while he was incarcerated in Theresienstadt ghetto, he maintained diaries and journals and the Wiener Holocaust Library is lucky to have his collection of these and it's a really extensive collection of books and documents. These give information about his own life and experiences but also give information about the cultural programs that there were in Theresienstadt ghetto. For me the thing that makes the Wiener Holocaust Library's collections about Jewish resistance to the Holocaust really stand out is their immediacy. Whether we're talking about a quiet act of bravery or a bold act of rebellion, these stories really leap off the page. And the reason for that, often, is that they were gathered either during the time of the Holocaust or in the years that immediately followed. The Wiener Library's head of research, Ava Reichman, gathered over a thousand testimonies in the 1950s, and many of those stories are featured in this exhibition for the first time. People often think that they know a lot about the war and the Holocaust, but the stories that we've uncovered in this exhibition show that there's so much more to be learned and so much more to tell and we're really looking forward to welcoming you to this exhibition soon.